The South African Sign Language Interpreter, accused of gesturing gibberish at Nelson Mandela's memorial service, is standing by his performance. After being accused of making gestures that made no sense, outraging the deaf across South Africa and the world, 34-year-old Tomseke Diace told the Johannesburg Star he suffered a schizophrenic episode during the service that caused him to lose his concentration after he began hallucinating and hearing voices. There was nothing I could do. I was alone in a very dangerous situation. I tried to control myself and not show the world what was going on. I am very sorry. Diace went on to say once he was on stage, he felt he couldn't leave despite the attack so he continued to sign things that didn't make sense. According to the National Institute on Mental Health, schizophrenia is a chronic, severe, and disabling brain disorder, which may cause a person to hear voices other people don't hear and not make sense when they talk. Jache says he takes medication for the illness and doesn't know what caused him to have the attack. But South Africa's leading deaf association called him a fake interpreter, citing his inability to gesture even the most basic signs such as thank you and Mandela. The South African government, which was in charge of the service, says it has no idea who he was. However, previous footage shows him signing next to current South African President Jacob Zuma on several occasions in 2012. The African National Congress, the country's ruling party, told CNN they did not hire him. We have used him on several occasions, but Tuesday was not an ANC event, so we cannot answer for Tuesday. Jache says he was paid 850 rand, or about 800 US dollars for the day's job, and stood by his performance, saying, I think I've been a champion of sign language. The South African government says it's currently investigating the incident. For Newsy, I'm John O'Connor.